Hey Aries, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for July 25th to the 26th of 2023. Alright, let's get started with an oracle card message for Aries. Next 48 hours for Aries. Alright, let's see. Dandelion wishes. I instantly thought of dandelion tea. So someone could be drinking dandelion tea. They have wine on here as well or doing something with dandelions. You could be seeing a lot of them or blowing on them to make wishes. Um, garlic, repel. I'm seeing someone like blow on a dandelion and then the little um, flurries go up someone else's nose <laughs> and they sneeze. I, I heard that after, or I saw that after I pulled repel. So your wishes, somehow your wishes or your good energy is repelling another energy without you realizing it. That was very funny to see. <laughs> cinnamon reignite. Yeah, like I'm seeing the dandelion and then I saw the cinnamon go up someone's nose and they sneeze and that's the person you're repelling. I feel like you don't even realize your like charm or lightheartedness or you just being happy at this time is like repelling someone. With reignite, I feel like you're feeling a fiery like you feel on top of the world right now or you just feel really energized, like something that you were tired of or that you stopped doing, you're doing it again with Reignite. I just feel like all of a sudden you feel hot or you just feel like you're ready to go. You have a lot of energy right now. Overall energy, Rosemary Memories. I just saw a Polaroid in my head, like a Polaroid um, picture. So someone could be thinking about you looking at old memories of you. You could be looking at um, past relatives in a photo album because I'm seeing someone flip through and look at um, old photos of their grandparents or great grandparents. All right, let's get into the tale. I just feel a very warm, happy energy. I'm tasting like those um, oatmeal cinnamon cookies, like those really soft cookies with the um the white icing on top like that thin layer of white icing i feel like someone's eating those i just see someone really cozy really happy right now <laughs> three of pentacles you could be around good company good friends yeah i'm tasting someone literally eat the oatmeal cookies dip them in milk and drink the milk like i'm seeing someone enjoy themselves right now <laughs> strength leo definitely cook with cinnamon today because I'm tasting cinnamon a lot, like the cinnamon oatmeal cookies. Um, you could be cooking with garlic, rosemary, dandelion, uh, princess of cups. And now I'm tasting pink um, strawberry milk. <laughs> Six of pentacles. Someone's having a really nice time. You could be dipping the cookie in strawberry milk. Six of cups. Yeah, memories of the past. I see you looking through an old photo album with your family or you're just sitting there looking through it. And you're looking at the good times. Going down memory lane and feeling really good. Something about looking at this makes you feel really good. I feel like for some of you, you look back at an old photo album and realize that something that you're into now or that you're doing now is something that a, a relative used to do. Like say for instance, you do tarot and you look back at old pictures and you notice an altar or tarot cards or something. And the picture like, wow, I didn't know so-and-so did this. I didn't know this was in my family or a relative mentions this or something like that. Or whatever you do, maybe you do coding, maybe you do any type of art or science or technology and you look back through an old photo album and you realize, oh wow, um, I have a relative that did that or an ancestor that did that. Over on the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you just feel really happy. I don't know what this strawberry milk and cinnamon has to do with anything, but that's showing up so heavily. So I'm going to write that down. And I heard nutmeg. Maybe I just want that, but that's coming up for you strongly. So let's clarify. I feel like you're in very, very good company in the next 48. Surrounded by people you love, people that love you. It's just a really good time. 
and you feel really confident, you feel really excited, you and your friends could be coming up with a plan or you and your relatives. It's you. It's a group of people. It's you and someone else. It could be a Leo involved as well. But I see you and at least one, like two other people coming up with something because of an old photo album you go through. Or I feel like something that you're already like doing. You look back in an old photo album or there's a relative or someone here who lets you know that you have an ancestor who is doing the exact thing that you do right now. Clarifying the three of pentacles is the strength card. So Leo, again, you have strength here twice. So you're really standing in your power right now. You feel very strong and capable in your essence as a person, but as well as in whatever this is. Because I feel like there's something in particular that you're doing. And you feel really strong in that. I feel like you have a strong team with you doing this as well. The star. I see you and a group coming together. You and this group are going to get a lot of shine in the next 48. Aquarius energy, hope and healing. I feel like you and this group are healing each other. Like You just have a very healing energy, but you guys are going to be in the spotlight as well. Clarifying the strength card, the six of wands. Yeah, you're going to be getting a lot of attention for how strong you are or how strong your um, skills are, how capable you are. The devil, Capricorn. People may fear this strength a little bit, not scared, like not like they're scared of you, but like they're like, dang, where did that come from? With the reignite, like, yeah. And I feel like your energy alone, like you don't even have to do anything. Your energy alone is repelling energies that would try to do anything that would try to drain your energy or do anything negative. You just naturally repel these people because of how strong your energy is at this time. You So you don't even have to worry about that or do anything. But you and this group is very like healing. You and this group are getting a lot of attention. Your strength and your skill is getting you a lot of attention at this time. Some For some of you, you are actually physically strong and that's getting you a lot of attention. But with the devil here, I feel like you've been putting in work over time. The devil is clarifying strength. So people fear how skilled you are or how powerful your energy is. And just the people who would try to like, you know, drain you. Those are the people who are trying to like that are scared and backing off. The people who are for you are actually like, you know, astonished and praising you. But the people who are like, you know, you shouldn't trust, they're backing off. Clarifying the page of cups is the ten of pentacles. Yeah, you're about to get some good news at work. The chariot. There is a relative coming to visit you. Could be a Cancer. We have Capricorn. We have Leo, Aquarius here. Um, clarifying the Six of Pentacles is the Nine of Wands. Yeah, whoever is working with you at this time, it's equal give and take. With the Nine of Wands, I feel like they help you be able to move forward. And if this isn't a physical purpose, I mean, physical person, I said purpose. If this isn't a physical person, it's an ancestor with memories. You have people on the other side pushing you along. It's like a second one, an unforeseen, a unforeseen force. I think I'm saying that right. With the Nine of Wands, it's like a card of perseverance. Your strength is incredible in the next 48. People are like, how the hell are you able to do that? That's the energy I'm getting. Like, how the hell are you able to do that? So let me write that down before I forget. Because once I cut this camera off, it's gone. <laughs> That's the overall message for this whole reading. Is like, how the hell are you doing that? I just get that someone has this, like, supernatural talent. Or that's what it seems like to other people. It's like supernatural strength or talent. Whether it's mental, physical, or spiritual. Like, you have some type of, like, otherworldly strength in something. Maybe you're someone who can fix anything or you can code anything or you can get through anything like or you're some type of scientist or teacher or artist or technician. You could be a mechanic that can fix anything. It's something that you do. Or maybe you're a barista who can make any um, drink taste good, any food taste good. You know what I mean? It's just basically whatever you do, you can make it the best. <laughs> and people are like, how the hell? Like a certain roadblocks in whatever career you're in or hobby this is, people can't get through it. But somehow you're able to do it. I just get the next 48. Someone's going to be like, how the hell are you doing that? Or people are just going to be amazed at you. And they're going to be praising you too. This is in a good way. 
the world, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. So you push through the last, like, so I feel like for a lot of you, you hit some type of roadblock or what would seem like a roadblock to other people. And you just push right past it. People are like, dang, because people expect it because everyone that's astonished has been there before or heard about people who've been there before and saw that they didn't get through that or they just gave up. You just like, all right. And you just push through it. You made it look easy and you closed out a cycle. And that's because you either have a good spirit team or you have someone who has your back in the physical. Clarifying a six of cups. And this is the memory, six of swords. Moving to common waters, ten of cups. Yeah, I felt like it was going down memory lane with um, ancestors, relative. That exact ancestor or relative is the one who's helping you push through this. Or just seeing them in that book or knowing that they're doing what you're doing now has inspired you. It's something about an ancestor's um, story or what they do is helping you now um, move forward. Now, I cut the deck and see the Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, and over is the Knight of Swords. Winning at all costs. And that's going to bring you a lot of attention. In the next 40 you're going to be getting a lot of attention. And this is going to help you bring a group together. And this group is going to be really powerful. Whoever these friends are, it's a very strong group. You can trust them. And I'm seeing, um, how many sixes is this? It's like four sixes. You have a six of wands. You have all the sixes. Six of wands, six of pentacles, six of cups, and six of swords. So if you were in any like lack mentality, if you were in the fives, conflict, competition, um, past disappointments, you know the fives. Right now, all the energy is being moved forward. So expect an easy flow in the next 48 when it comes to emotions, um, finances, mental, spiritual, physical movement. Everything's flowing easily. You have all the sixes here. That's forward movement with ease. And letting go of just any blockages. This is really nice energy. I love this. Um... Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.